So I woke up from two dreams. Um, I don't know if they coincided with each other or not, but I was driving down the road and there was a bunch of people that were stopped, like on a train track type deal. And there was no train that was going on it, but there was people stopped. And at the end of it, there was like federal agents or the FBI or whoever they were, but they were trying to make people stop at these checkpoints um, beyond that. And it, they were causing like big cyclones in the sky. Well, I guess it was all American war that broke out and I was trying to get to safety, but at the same sense, I was so excited. I wanted to record what was going on because I thought it was a tornado. Well, when in reality, it wasn't a tornado, it was war. It was nuclear war, an atomic bomb, and they shot across the sky like this. And then um, afterwards, um, everybody, like my family, my kids, all them, they was in this building and I had to try and make it back to them. But I, I was not able to be seen, otherwise I'd get in trouble and I'd be drafted into this war thing. I didn't want no part of it, so I had to turn around and try and seek safety. And it was almost as if I was on a broadcast. Um, so, yeah. Um trying to think here um sorry I got a text message all right so then it switched okay and like I said this dream was just it was just crazy because I kept thinking it was a tornado that was touching the ground and it wasn't it was cyclones literally because of the the missiles and stuff um and then it switched scenes to where I was at my brother and brother-in-law's and sister-in-law's Jeffrey and Ashley's and I was sitting there visiting with my nieces and stuff and I noticed that they had small little piles of stuff on the counters. And I was talking to Jeffrey, and I was like, oh, so you guys are getting stocked up. And he said, I don't even know what you're talking about. So I'm sitting there talking about the financial collapse and food deprivation and things that's about to happen. And he was just like, oh, I don't know nothing about that. You'd have to talk to Ashley. Well, then I was trying to, I don't know what the heck I was trying to do, but I needed it as a black bag. And I asked if I could get my nieces one weekend so that we could do some art stuff. And Ashley's like, yeah, the Ziploc bags are um, in the basement, the smaller ones. So I was like, oh, okay. Well, then I walk over into their living room and Alana, she's like almost seven. But in my dream, she was still that age, but small enough to be in like the uh, a little extra saucer. And she was facing a white wall and there was a radio that was sitting right there. And somehow, some way, I gave Ashley all my Christian music, and she was listening to this Christian music. And I told her, I said, "Oh, so you got stocked up?" And she goes, "Yes, because I know it's coming." And then I woke up. I felt so good about that. Oh my gosh! And then yesterday, I had uh, one more dream, and um, I will explain that to you here in just a second. <laughs> 